Okay, so apparently there was a short where Decius breaks the news to the rest of the ecclesiarchy. I missed this somehow. So now I'm going to get it. Here we go. Esteemed Cardinals of the Adeptus Ministorum. The orangutan. I have gathered you here today to reveal unto you the most important development in all of recent history. I, Ecclesiarch Decius XXIII, have been granted audience with the Emperor himself. And he has disclosed to me the truth of our organization, our influence, and our very faith. <laughs> Please, hold on to your hats, my friends. The truth is that the Lactitio Divinitatus, our holy book, is a lie. The Emperor is not actually a god. How <laughs> dare you even say such a thing, Ecclesiarch? You are a heretic! <laughs> no, you must listen. What I say is true. He has told me so himself. Have you no faith in me? That is ironic. The Emperor isn't the god he is. How do you disprove <coughs> all the miracles he has performed throughout the years? Such as the storm of the Emperor's wrath during the Age of Apostasy. Well, that was the Emperor. But, uh, he, you know, wasn't a god when doing it. Or something. That's just rubbish! <laughs> we would not even be speaking right now if the Emperor did not impose his divine will upon us. Morality stems from the god Emperor. And without it, we would be nothing but uncivilized brutes. <laughs> we could always just, uh, keep following the Emperor's example and just not be total asshats. Whoa, well if the Emperor isn't a god, how come when I look at a picture of him, I always get the unrelenting urge to bend myself over and pray ecstatically? <laughs> Checkmate, bitch! Um, that's... That's a good point. You're a liar and a heretic, a little bit different. Your sins cannot be forgiven! Take his hat from him! No! Do you not see the error of your ways? The Emperor is no god, and to lump him into that obscene category is what is heresy around here. Compare our Emperor, radiant, beautiful, magnificent, to the ones considered gods in this galaxy. Nurgle, a supernatural garbage bag. Horn, a paraplegic sociopath. Zinch, an indecisive scholar. Slanesh, never went to rehab. Fork and fork, literal mushrooms. Hey, Big Daddy Count Arsberg, a pleasure hunter. Isha. Supernatural garbage can. Chegarath, a fucking clown. The Nightbringer has no friends. And the Deceiver, who's just straight up an idiot. He doesn't exist. Shut up, clown. <laughs> that you even dare to compare our Emperor to these filthy creatures is disgraceful. It is a title fallaciously forced upon him to associate him with beings of lesser worth. No, our great father is no god. He is a man, like all of us. He is, is a human being, the greatest human being to exist in our galaxy and beyond. We must all learn that a god is not intrinsically greater than us. Only weaklings succumb to their deceitful promises of fame and power. We share the same blood with our magnificent emperor. We are him, and he is us. He always knew this better than anyone, and he wants us to embrace that same ideal. Mankind is greater than any lowly god creature. We are the greatest species in existence, and the Emperor is the greatest being of our species. He is a man, and you will pray to him as such. All hail the Man Emperor of Mankind! Thank you to the Man Emperor of Mankind! <laughs> All hail the Man Emperor of Mankind. Okay. Well, the next episode is Atrocious Answers. We'll get to that in a minute. But I'm going to go ahead and upload this. And I will see you guys as soon as I finish getting that process done.